Kevin Brady. What a warrior. Kevin. <laughs> Kevin, come on. Stand up, Kevin. He was referencing, referencing our next guest, House Ways and Means Committee Chairman Kevin Brady, Republican from Texas. Now, I want everybody to know that the person standing to your right is your son, Sean. And just tell yes. us a little bit about how special it was, obviously ROTC, to have him in the room with the commander in chief. Yeah, pretty remarkable. We're big fans of President Trump, as you know. And Sean Brady is uh, with the Marine Corps Junior ROTC at uh, College Park High School. Uh, he's here to celebrate the 36th year of the retirement of my brother, Command Sergeant Major Matt Brady, last night. Then he got to see the Commander in Chief just wow. a few minutes ago. So we're we're having a big uh, week in the Brady family. You have a military legacy. Uh, please thank your 16-year-old young one for the beginning of his journey to serve. I'll do that. Thank you, Harris. All right. Let's talk about the president calling you out today because of the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act and really getting serious now on that legislation as you head into the midterms. How are you seeing it play out across America? It really has been remarkable. The president has a lot to be proud of on behalf of the American people. In six months, nearly everything is better economically, and we transformed the nation, transformed it from one that asked, where are the jobs? To asking now, where are the workers? And so middle class families who hadn't seen a pay raise in nearly a decade are seeing raises, bonuses, and now keeping more of what they earn. Main Street businesses who before were among the most pessimistic about the future are now record levels of optimism. They're hiring and, and paying more. And manufacturers who just face an uphill battle, they've watched their jobs go overseas, their customers' headquarters mm -hmm. go overseas. Now, they, they are hiring and paying and growing like we haven't seen. So all of this means America's back and our families and small businesses have hope again. Can, can I push, though, with some criticism? Democrats are yes, saying that not everybody who isn't as wealthy as corporations is necessarily feeling uh, what's the residual of these tax cuts. What do you say about that? Yeah, I would say respectfully baloney. Uh, this is designed for middle class families, for working class families. Here's a good example. A single mom raising two kids uh, under the old tax uh, plan would get maybe $600 a year back. Today mm -hmm. she gets almost $1,400, more than that, almost $2,000 back that really makes a difference. We're seeing this. That's that single mom working to get on the economic ladder and, and grow her family and grow their hope and opportunity. Democrats want to take that away and, and send those jobs packing overseas. Boy, it is all designed for American families and American workers. Uh, let's talk about jobs going overseas or going outside the country. Harley Davidson spoke up against the tariffs that the president has uh, said he'll put into place, saying that they can't afford to keep their workers here. I did some homework on them and talked a little bit with Charles Payne at FBN. Sometimes we talk about these things. And, yes. and Charles and I were talking about the $25 million in surplus for taxes that, because of the cuts, that Harley Davidson is feeling. Uh, I, I'm just wondering how you square that with the argument against the president that Harley Davidson is making. What are your yeah, thoughts? So, well, I think it's tough depending on where you're competing, how tariffs impact you. What we do know traveling the country and back home, we're seeing businesses where, where the president's tax reform has changed everything. I was with a company, medical company in, in Boston the other day, and they said, look, our research won't be done in London now. It'll be done in the United States. Our patents won't be in Ireland. They'll be in America. And if we can find the workers, we'll do the manufacturing here in America. We're seeing that play out all over our nation, including mm -hmm. back home in Texas. And so really, um, America's back in a big way. All right, uh, Lasagna was standing to the right yeah. of the president. She stood up, and I don't know if she had planned remarks, but the president was quite impressed at her extemporaneous dialogue about the tax cuts. What are you hearing from people like her, and maybe there were others in the room, about what their companies are doing? She is terrific. I think of the workers of Russell Marine, who they not only got a 10% pay raise, they, they a million dollars of bonuses. The company has already bought $5 million of equipment and green-lighted a new company headquarters because the one they have is pretty well-worn. And, and they say this year will be their best year ever because of the tax cuts. And I think of Pat, a worker in Home Depot. Kathy and I, my wife, were in Home Depot the other Sunday because apparently we were redoing a bathroom. I didn't know that. And so uh, she <laughs> came up. Your wife didn't tell you? <laughs> yes, yeah, she came up uh, and said thank you. 
She oh. said, thank you. I get, she, she's a small business person, refurnishes uh, antiques and furniture, works part-time at Home Depot to make ends meet. She really? said, thank you. <laughs> she said, you have not, she gets $184 more each and every paycheck because of tax cuts. She said, you have no idea what it means to me and my family. We're seeing that all across America. Sure. Well, for people who may just be tuning in and wondering who that young man is to your right, uh, Junior ROTC, Sean Brady, ladies and gentlemen, just starting his military career as a military brat. Of course, our audience knows how grateful we families are uh, to see anybody enter uh, the, the, uh, the sphere of military service. Chairman Brady and Sean Brady, thank you very much for being on the program. <laughs> thank you, Harris. Take care. You too.